Hello everyone, my name is Mihai, I'm Chief Systems Architect for Whaley. Today we are going to discuss about the next evolution in uh, no-code, which is actually natural language processing. If you remember from our previous videos, we have discussed already about the Playbooks features, a feature of uh, our Whaley platform, which enables uh, automation via no-code by launching uh, what we call a Playbook, actually a wrapper around a rule template which provides a set of uh, strongly typed inputs. Based on that, anybody can imp quickly implement a no-code user interface for, uh, for managing the executions of uh, tasks associated with the playbook. Now, if we go to the platform, we have already prepared a simple, a very simple playbook Basically, it, uh, all it does is check whether the temperature uh, retrieved from a resource uh, exceeds a particular threshold, and if it does, it will raise a threshold closing alarm. Otherwise, if we, it will uh, clear that alarm. Uh, very, very simple, and if you look at it, we have this threshold parameter of type integer, which is actually the level uh, above which the alarm will be raised. Now, in the temperature check, we can very easily use this as a, as a variable. And the variable is associated with the playbook such that it is exposed in our no-code interface. We also have a testbed resource, which at this particular moment does not have any running tasks and also does not have any associated alarms. Normally, if we were to use our, our demo uh, no-code interface, we would normally select the playbook, the resource, and basically give up, give a value to the to the threshold uh, parameter. If we click submit, we would get a task associated with the testbed resource. Now, in case of uh, natural language interface, we can do all of that by using voice commands. So let's uh, let's uh, see how this uh, how this works. I will speak my command, and hopefully the system will understand it and fill in all the necessary parameters for me. Start test playbook on device test bed with input threshold set to fifty. And now, as you can see, we have the template automatically selected as well as the resource and the value for the threshold parameter is, is already set. So now all we need to do is basically submit. And as a result, we are now going to look whether uh, we have the task running on the, on the device and if it does what it's supposed to be doing. So if we go back to the resource itself and looking at the tasks, we can see that the test task is already running. And uh, at this particular moment in time, uh, there is no data pushed to the resource, so basically there are no alarms. So let us now test the alarming functionality. So we are going to start by sending a message below the threshold. So by setting the temperature to, let's say, 40. Submit. So now if we are going to look at the alarms tab, there will not be basically any type of alarm. Now the next step is to send another message with a, with a higher temperature. So let's uh, set up now a value that exceeds the threshold, such that we get the threshold crossing alarm. So we're going to set the temperature to like 60. Okay, we have sent the, the message to the device. So let's see now if we get the threshold closing alarm. And here it is. So basically we now have an alarm that was raised at this moment, basically uh, because the temperature received on the, on the resource has exceeded the threshold. So let's test the clearing of this uh, particular uh, alarm by sending again a lower value. All 
right. Let's see what happened with our alarm. You can see that the alarm has now been cleared. So basically it can be marked as a result by an operator and that's basically it. This is it. Actually adding natural language on top of, uh, of the playbook interface enables uh, operators to, to immediately launch task executions by using voice alone. And uh, this is as pure as no code as we can get. Thank you so much for your attention. Goodbye.